Okay, Assalamualaikum uh, and welcome to Production Plan for Educational Training System. Okay, my name is Sheikh Shahman and this is Mr. Hada. Today we will give a briefing about the Production Plan for Educational Training System that available in College Kemaran Tinggi Mara Kemaman. Okay, for your information, this plan is used for the practical activity, uh, especially for plan operation and maintenance costs uh, and uh, for the uh, occupational safety and health and other activity uh, that uh, involve installation uh, and maintenance. Okay, uh, before uh, the student uh, start the practical activity, uh, they will be uh, they, they will be assembled in front of the plants for the safety briefing. During the safety briefing, the instructor will give the uh, as, uh, will will explain about the safety rules during the practical activity and do some uh, uh, checking on the student um, PPE. After finish the safety briefing, the student will be allowed entering the uh, entering the plan for the to continue their practical activity. So let's go inside. Before we perform the practical activities, students need to get the permission from the instructor. Students will provide identification documents such as student card. Students will place their, their student ID card into the plan entry checkpoint board. After that, students can enter to their designated area to commence their practical activities. Okay, let's go to the next process. Okay, the main purpose of uh, PPS in uh, College Kemaran Tinggi Mara Kemaman is to simulate the process that currently used in uh, oil and gas offshore production plants. Okay, this plant consists of a uh, oil and water storage tank, inline static mixer, production well, and then we have a uh, production and test operator, pigging facilities, water treatment system, closed and open drain system, and gas pressure system. Okay, the training plan is fit with formation water which is taken from public supply, non-volatile oil and non-flammable gas to simulate the three-phase separation processing system as a real upstream plant. The design capacity of this plant is 10 meter cubic per hour. And then the process starts with mixing oil and water from storage tank using inline static mixer. After that, the nitrogen gas will be injected to the pipeline downstream of the inline static mixer. Next, the fluid then is pumped into the wellhead. Okay, next we go to the next process at the wellhead. control panel located at the wellhead area provide logic control for triple SV, double SV and wing valve. Okay, the triple SV located on the main deck while the SSV and wing valve located at the upper deck. Okay, with the control panel, student able to operate the uh, three valve, three other valve by pressing or pulling the mushroom button. Then the fluid enter the production separator for three-phase separation processing. the second floor. If the first floor shown earlier can be considered as the process that happened below the surface level that is under the sea. Okay, this floor now resemble the surface production facilities. What we have here is two safety valve and one choke valve that is used to control the flow rate of the crude oil and prevent the blowout.
Okay, from the well head, the fluid will, will transfer into the production separator. Okay, inside this separator, the liquid will separate into three phases. Okay, into the water, oil, and gas. Okay, in this area, the student will be able to learn how to control the process inside this production separator from the control room. Okay, beside that, uh, the student also can learn about the various type of instrument such as uh, flow control valve, uh, shutdown valve, and then uh, uh, flow transmitter, level transmitter, and also we have a pressure transmitter. After the separation uh, occurs, the uh, the oil the oil will be transferred directly into the uh, storage tank through the pigging system, and the water will be, uh, will be transferred to the uh, water treatment system, and the gas uh, inside uh, in this plant will be re-inject back into the system because uh, this plant is closed loop system. Okay, now let's go into the control room and see, and we can see how the whole system was uh, is integrated. Come on. Okay, this is the heartbeat of the pipettes. This control room houses the control equipment for this plant. The motor control center which considered as the main workforce of the plant is also housed in this control cabinet. Most of the control system is by DCS. Okay, welcome to uh, pipettes control room. Inside this control room, we have uh, two operating uh, operator work, work station and uh, two engineering uh, work station. Okay. During the practical activity, actually the student will segregate into the two group. One group uh, acting as the inside technician inside the control room, and another group will acting as the outside technician. They will work at the at the outside. Uh, near to the process unit. Okay, for the uh, insect uh, technician, the student can see uh, the plant overview through the screen at the operator workstation. Okay, from here we can see at the screen, we can see all the process unit. From here we can see water storage tank, oil storage tank, well head, production separator and others are process unit. Okay, so from here, student can monitor all the activity uh, inside, all the process inside the plant. Okay, to control the, uh, the process for each process unit, okay, student can uh, look into uh, in the detail uh, the all the parameter uh, in each uh, process unit. Okay, such as show in this uh, monitor. The student we can monitor the level the and the pressure. Okay, for the water and oil. Okay, uh, from here, at the same time, student will learn how to, co uh, to control and monitor and control the process by click on each uh, item uh, in this, uh, from this screen. Okay, this screen, uh, this system was uh, controlled by using the DCS to to control the process in the plant. Pipette also exposed students to process plant safety procedure. If the alarm is sound, this signifies an emergency hazard or process upset is happening in the plant. Student needs to calmly proceed to the exit and gate at the assembly point, which is at the in front of the pipette entrance, where the safety briefing is conducted earlier. They must also pick their ID card placed onto the plant entry checkpoint board.
that will be all from us at PPAT. Thank you for attention. Have a good day. Safety first.